Hey fish friends, it's Liam from Colorado Crustaceans. In today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through my brand new setup in my bedroom where I keep all of my fish tanks. Now, before we get into the video and I start to tell you what the plans are with all these tanks, I do just want to warn everybody that I am sick, if you couldn't tell from my voice, so just bear with me here. But without any further ado, let's let's get into this. I'll take you um, I'll take you through what what the plans are in all these tanks. So. Originally the planted 20 gallon right here. This was this was always here But where this new 10 gallon was as well as this brand new 20 gallon There was a dresser that was holding a 10 gallon that was in really bad shape. So What I did this summer is I bought this new bookshelf right here to put the 10 on and then I bought this new 20 gallon Everything in here is new. So this tank is still cycling uh, Nice little stand going on there, but Anyway, I'll take you guys now that you just kind of figure out what the transition looks like in here. I'll go ahead and take you guys through the plans for all three of these tanks, what the stocking is like, um, and yeah, future plans. So first off, we're going to start with the planted 20 gallon, which we visited before, but last time I showed this tank on YouTube. This plant right back here and this one back here weren't in here. They were originally in this tank, but I decided to move them. So. The stockings also changed a little bit in this tank. Really, the only thing that's changed is I got a pair of Gardneri killifish. This is the male. I don't know where the female is. But the stocking in this tank, we have seven Sabwa barbs. You can see there are two right there. The two males right there have the orange noses, and then the females are just gray. Three peacock gudgeons. There's, shoot, there's a female right there. Five Celestial Pearl Danios, there you can see there's a couple right there. Two Gobies, you can see there's one back there, I don't know where the female is, but it's a male-female pair. Uh, I think there's two auto sinkless in here. They're supposed to be, but I haven't seen either of them in a very long time, so who knows. Uh, as for future stocking in this tank, I mean really... Um, I'm not sure, maybe I'll get another schooler fish or two, like, like four or five, <laughs> a few more schooler fish, but I don't know. But I'm definitely going to get a pom-pom crab, freshwater pom-pom crab in here relatively soon. I don't know how soon that is. I'm hoping that my local fish store will get some in, but if not, then I'll just buy them online. Uh, yeah, but this tank right now is doing really well. Uh, I haven't had a fish die in here for a pretty long time, so that's really good. Um, I did notice the one of the gudgeons had fin rot, so I'm just treating it for medicine right now. Now let's talk about this tank. This tank is a... Right now there's only fish in here. You can see a couple of cobra guppies, and then there's two Corydoras. But the plans for this tank is this is going to become a dwarf crayfish breeding tank. I'm going to get some from my local fish store probably this week. Two blues and two oranges. Um, this tank, I really like this tank. I think the scaping turned out really cool. Um, yeah, really what I'm thinking about doing right now is you see these two catfish right here. I'm thinking about moving them into this tank, but we'll have to see. I don't know um, if that will actually be the case. But yeah, this tank will have dwarf crayfish in it soon. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram. If you're just watching me on YouTube, then make sure to follow my Instagram. Um, I post a lot more often on Instagram than I do on YouTube. Alright, final tank. We got this 20 gallon here. The wood still isn't waterlogged yet, but this tank escaped with lava rock, as you can see, and Asian driftwood. Um, what are the plans for this tank? Well, the plans for this tank, uh, there's only going to be one species in here. My first ever video, you might recall, I had purple I had purple matano crab. That's probably what's going to be going in this tank. Definitely a crab from Lake Matano. I'm not sure what species though. Um, but yeah, so we're going to let this tank cycle for a little bit longer, and then as soon as they come available for sale on the website I buy off of, then I'm going to go ahead and buy some. Yeah. That's the plan with this tank. I'm only going to buy one because they fight with each other. I think this scape looks really cool. Um, yeah, so this is my new room setup. Uh, I spent a good portion of summer saving up and 
working hard on this. So, <clears throat> I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, yeah. Everything is going, going pretty well. That's really all I got for you guys in the studio. Just a little update for everyone on the, uh, the progress of my quote-unquote fish room. Uh, really only have room for three tanks in here. I've thought about potentially putting five gallons on the second shelves of these 20 gallon fish stands, fish tank stands, but I don't know about that. Yeah, so this video didn't really have any structure or anything like that. I just kind of thought it'd be cool to just kind of share with people what's going on. Uh, I re I'm super happy with how all this turned out. I think it looks really cool. Uh, thank you guys all for checking out this video. Uh, make sure to subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully start posting on YouTube a bit more. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Liam. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe here so you don't miss another video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.